I'm Pam Carr and I'm from Caraway Crochet and I'm showing you how to do the simple puff stitch in this video tutorial today. I'm using an H hook and a four weight yarn so watch and enjoy and please subscribe to my channel if you're interested in learning lots of new crochet stitches and maybe check out my lots of stitches temperature blanket cow video and see how you can join in that wonderful year-long project. Please subscribe to my channel if you're interested in learning lots of different crochet stitches and hit the bell button if you would like to be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you for watching. Hello, I'm Pam Carr and I'm going to show you how to make a puff stitch. Okay, it's um, quite a simple stitch once you know how to do it. So I wrap my yarn around my finger twice, pull the yarn over, pull the yarn over and this is how I make my slip stitch. Slip knot sorry slip knot okay and then I'm going to have an even number of stitches so I'm going to chain 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and then I'm going to be single crocheting into the second chain from the hook here. So I'm going to count one, two chains, and I'm going to single crochet into this. Sometimes you um, can work onto a half double crochet base if you want, but this tutorial is just to show you how we can do our puff stitches. Sit down so I can do this more comfortably and I will single crochet all the way across this chain. Double crochet into there. This is Simply soft yarn. It's a four worsted weight and I'm doing it with an H hook, a number five millimeter. And I'm using US terms, so we're calling it a single. In England, they would be calling this a double. The yarn is not cooperating. So there we go, we've gone all the way across. Then I'm going to chain one and we're going to turn. And then the first thing that's going to happen is we are going to do a single crochet into the first stitch. So I'm moving my yarn here so it can not be fighting against me as I work. Okay, so the first one is a single crochet. And now we're going to do our first puff stitch. So we're going to go into the stitch, we yarn over and go into the next stitch. Make sure you go through both. Both, you've got two pieces here. Yarn over and pull through. Okay, now we have three loops on our hook. So we go yarn over and put it through the same stitch yarn over and pull it through and now you'll see we have one two three four five yarn over into the same stitch yarn over and pull it through and now we have one two three four five six seven yarn over into the same stitch yarn over and pull it through and now we have nine loops on our hook so we are going to put the yarn over and I like to pull here so that I'm making a nice space in between the hook, get a bit of tension going, yarn over and I twist my hook so that it, the flat end is going through and the hook is going down and I pull it through those nine. And sometimes you can chain it to tie it up, but we're not doing that for this pattern. We are gonna go into the next stitch and do a single crochet. 
okay? Now we're going to go into the next stitch. So yarn over, put the hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull it through. And we're gonna do it again. So it's four times in all, that was one. This is two. Oops. This is three. This is four. You should have nine loops on your hook. You pull through them all. We're not going to chain. We are going to go straight into the next stitch and single crochet. That kind of pulls our puff stitches over on the side a bit. Okay, yarn over into the next stitch, yarn over and pull it through, yarn over into the stitch again and pull it through, yarn over into the stitch again and pull it through, yarn over into the stitch again and pull it through and make sure, let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yarn over and pull it through all those stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, and another one. Yarn over, put it into the next stitch, yarn over and pull it through. Yarn over, repeat, yarn over and pull it through. Yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over and pull it through. Yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over and pull it through through all nine loops and single crochet into the next stitch. There we go. So we have already made one, two, three, four puff stitches. They show up better here. Okay. We'll make one more. Yarn over, yarn over and pull it through. Yarn over, through the same stitch, pull it through. That's two. Yarn over in the same stitch, pull it through. That's three. Yarn over into the same stitch, pull it through. That's four times. Yarn over and pull it through all nine. <laughs> I was thinking I was getting away with this, but maybe I won't. Hmm. What's going on? See, just so you don't feel bad if you have problems pulling it through. There we go. That's it. And then we're going to single crochet into the last stitch here. Okay. So we had to fight with that last one, but we did it. Okay, now we're gonna chain one. And what you would normally do if you were working on a project is you would do a row of single crochet before doing more um, puff stitches. So let's do another row of single crochet. One, two, Three. And this is good because I can show you where we go. We're going to be going into the stitch where the puff stitch is and in the stitch where the next puff stitch starts. Okay, so we've got two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. My dog is barking because she wants to be here. <laughs> and this is what your puff stitches will look like. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on how to do the puff stitches. Thank you.